in measurement. So as human beings, we can sometimes measure things incorrectly. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So when we measure things, our error in measurement can be defined as plus or minus 0 0.5 multiplied by the smallest unit of measure. So if you're measuring something with a 30 centimeter ruler that shows accuracy to one millimeter, the smallest unit on, of measure on that ruler is one millimeter. So your error would be plus or minus 0 0.5 times one millimeter. And this gives you, well, 0 0.5 times one is just 0 0.5. So we get 0 0.5 plus or minus 0 0.5 millimeters. And what this means is you could expect to be off by 0 0.5 millimeters either way of your measurement with that, with that ruler. We're also gonna look at something called limits of accuracy. So let's say you were measuring something that was 15 millimeters long. And if you were measuring with this ruler that we were using, you could be off by 0 0.5 millimeters either way. So your limits of accuracy involve adding the error to your measurement and subtracting the error to the measurement. So we can take our 15 millimeters, we add our error, so we're using the plus 0 0.5. And then we take our measurement and we subtract error. So we're using the minus 0 0.5. So when you plus 0 0.5, you're going to get 15.5 millimeters. And when you minus 0 0.5, you're going to get 14.5 millimeters. And these are your limits of accuracy. And they show the range of values you can have when measuring something with this ruler. We're also going to look at something called the percentage error. And this involves, to, to work out our percentage error, it's just plus or minus our error divided by our measurement. the thing we met, that we know the measurement is, multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage. For so, so for this example, our error is 0 0.5 millimeters. The measurement of it is 15 millimeters, multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage. And this gives us a percentage error of plus or minus 3.33% to 2 decimal places.